Halibut, Wikipedia Audio Halibut is a common name principally applied to the two flatfish in the genus Hippoglossus from the family of right eye flounders. Less commonly, and in some regions only, other species of flatfish are also referred to as being halibuts. The word is derived from halley and butte, for its popularity on Catholic holy days. Halibut are demersal fish and are highly regarded as a food fish. The Pacific halibut is the world's largest flatfish. The IGFA record was apparently broken off the waters of Norway in July 2013 by a 5-15-pound 8.6-foot fish. This is awaiting certification as of 2013. In July 2014, 76-year-old Jack McGuire caught a 482-pound Pacific halibut in Glacier Bay, Alaska. Halibut are dark brown on the top side with an off-white underbelly and have very small scales invisible to the naked eye embedded in their skin. Halibut are symmetrical at birth with one eye on each side of the head. Then, about six months later, during larval metamorphosis one eye migrates to the other side of the head. The eyes are permanently set once the skull is fully ossified. At the same time, the stationary eyed side darkens to match the top side, while the other side remains white. This color scheme disguises halibut from above and from below and is known as counter shedding. Species of the genus Hippoglossus Halibut feed on almost any fish or animal they can fit into their mouths. Juvenile halibut feed on small crustaceans and other bottom-dwelling organisms. Animals found in their stomachs include sand lance, octopus, crab, salmon, hermit crabs, lamprey, sculpin, cod, pollock, herring, and flounder, as well as other halibut. Halibut live at depths ranging from a few meters to hundreds, and although they spend most of their time near the bottom, halibut may move up in the water column to feed. In most ecosystems, the halibut is near the top of the marine food chain. In the North Pacific, common predators are sea lions, killer whales, salmon sharks and humans. The North Pacific commercial halibut fishery dates to the late 19th century and today is one of the region's largest and most lucrative. In Canadian and U.S. waters, longline fishing predominates, using chunks of octopus or other bait on circle hooks attached at regular intervals to a weighted line that can extend for several miles across the bottom. The fishing vessel retrieves the line after several hours to a day. The effects of long-line gear on habitats are poorly understood, but could include disturbance of sediments, benthic structures, and other structures. International management is thought to be necessary, because the species occupies waters of the United States, Canada, Russia, and possibly Japan, and matures slowly. Halibut do not reproduce until age 8, when about 30 in long so commercial capture below this length prevents breeding and is against U.S. and Canadian regulations supporting sustainability. Pacific halibut fishing is managed by the International Pacific Halibut Commission. For most of the modern era, halibut fishery operated as a derby. Regulators declared time slots when fishing was open and fishermen raced to catch as many pounds as they could within that interval. This approach accommodated unlimited participation in the fishery while allowing regulators to control the quantity of fish caught annually by controlling the number and timing of openings. The approach led to unsafe fishing, as openings were necessarily set before the weather was known, forcing fishermen to leave port regardless of the weather. The approach limited fresh halibut to the markets to several weeks per year when the gluts would push down the price received by fishermen. In 1995, 
U.S. regulators allocated individual fishing quotas to existing fishery participants based on each vessel's documented historical catch. IFQs grant to holders a specific proportion of each year's total allowable catch. The fishing season is nine months. The IFQ system improved both safety and product quality by providing a stable flow of fresh halibut to the marketplace. Critics of the program suggest, since holders can sell their quota and the fish are a public resource, the IFQ system gave a public resource to the private sector. The fisheries were managed through a treaty between the United States and Canada per recommendations of the International Pacific Halibut Commission, formed in 1923. A significant sport fishery in Alaska and British Columbia has emerged, where halibut are prized game and food fish. Sport fishermen use large rods and reels with 8150 LB line, and often bait with herring large jigs, or whole salmon heads. Halibut are strong and fight strenuously when exposed to air. Smaller fish will usually be pulled on board with a gaff and may be clubbed or even punched in the head to prevent them from thrashing around on the deck. In both commercial and sport fisheries, standard procedure is to shoot or otherwise subdue very large halibut over 15200 lb before landing them alaska's sport fishery is an element of the state's tourism economy halibut are often boiled deep fried or grilled while fresh smoking is more difficult with halibut meat than it is with salmon due to its ultra low fat content eaten fresh the meat has a clean taste and requires little seasoning. Halibut is noted for its dense and firm texture. Halibut have historically been an important food source to Alaska Natives and Canadian First Nations, and continue to be a key element to many coastal subsistence economies. Accommodating the competing interests of commercial, sport, and subsistence users is a challenge. As of 2008 the Atlantic population is so depleted through overfishing that it may be declared an endangered species. According to Seafood Watch, consumers should avoid Atlantic halibut. Most halibut eaten on the east coast of the United States are from the Pacific. Physical Characteristics in 2012 sport fishermen in Cook Inlet reported increased instances of a condition known as mushy halibut syndrome. The meat of affected fish has a jelly-like consistency. When cooked it does not flake in the normal manner of halibut but rather falls apart. The meat is still perfectly safe to eat but the appearance and consistency are considered unappetizing. The exact cause of the condition is unknown but may be related to a change in diet. Diet Halibut Fishery Individual Fishing Quotas As Food Other species sometimes called halibut, 